Hi everyone, welcome to Zoho Books webinar. I am your host Riyas Parat and thank you for joining with me today. Today in this webinar we would like to discuss about VAT return filing in Bahrain. Before we start, I would like to inform each one of you that this webinar is covering only filing of VAT return and not the basics of VAT. For information on VAT basics and other topics, please check out the VAT resources page on the Zoho Books website. Now let us start. What is a tax return? A tax return is a form filed with the taxing authority that reports relevant information specified by the authority. VAT return in Bahrain is filed online. Each company will have a user ID and password when they register with the tax authority. Bahrain VAT return briefly covers the following taxable supply and output tax, taxable expenses and input tax, tax under reverse charge mechanism, zero rated or exempted purchases, net tax payable. Now the image which you are seeing on the screen is the tax return form published by the tax authority in Bahrain. You can see 17 boxes in the tax return form and some of the boxes are filled manually and others are filled automatically. Once we understand the objective of each boxes, we can file the VAT return without any mistakes or errors. Now we are going to analyze each one of the boxes individually and understand. Moving on to the box number one, standard rated sales. This box is intended to put the total amount of standard rated goods and services sold during the current period. As you know, VAT return will be filed for a specific period. It could be a month, it could be a quarter also, depends on the company. So in the first column, that is in the amount column, we need to put the total amount of standard rated goods and services excluding VAT collected. That is, for example, if your sales amount is 100 BD, and you are charging VAT of 5 BD on that, then the total sales invoice amount will be 105. So in column number 1, you need to put 100 BD and 5 BD of VAT amount will be updated in the last column automatically. So that need to be remembered always when we fill up the, this box. And the second column that is the adjustment or apportionment column is intended for any adjustments regarding the transaction pertaining to the previous reporting period. Example, return of goods and services by customers on which you have declared or paid VAT already or the sales made to tourists under a VAT refund scheme or bad debts return off on standard rated receivables etc. Moving on to the box number 2. Sales to registered taxpayers in other GCC states. This box will be activated only when the other GCC countries are declared as implementing GCC state. So for the time being, these boxes will be deactivated and not editable. Moving on to box number 3. Sales subject to domestic reverse charge mechanism. In this box, we are supposed to enter the total amount of sales and adjustment to the sales that were standard rated but made to domestic purchaser who has the rights granted by NBR to apply the domestic reverse charge mechanism. I hope you must have already knowing the re domestic reverse charge mechanism which can be applied by the taxable companies in Bahrain on special approved by NBR. In the first column we need to put the amount and in the second column we need to put the adjustments. Since it is 
applied as under domestic reverse charge mechanism there won't be any tax implication over here moving on to the box number four zero rated domestic sales as you know under VAT in Bahrain there are certain things which are taxable at zero rate example medical services education services international transportation of goods and passengers etc all those kind of things which are coming under zero rated sales will be entered in box number four moving on to box number five that is exports in this box we need to put the total amount of zero rated export of goods and services during the current period and any adjustment should be entered in the column two moving on to box number six exempt sales under VAT law in Bahrain there are certain things which are exempted from tax for example rental income from commercial property or residential property etc the amount of goods and services sold during the current period that are exempted in the kingdom of Bahrain and any adjustments also should be entered in box number six box number seven is an auto filled box where the total of boxes from one to six will be filled automatically moving on to box number eight from box number eight we will be entering the information pertaining to the purchases and expenses in box number eight we need to enter standard rated domestic purchases as I told you initially in the standard rated sales in this box also we need to take care when we are entering the amount in the first column we should enter the amount excluding VAT paid for example if you have a taxable expenses of 100 BD and plus VAT of 5 then the total expense you paid to the supplier is 105 so in column number 1 you need to enter 100 and 5 BD which is your input claim of VAT will be automatically updated in column number in column 3 and any adjustments or apportionment regarding the input claim will be made in column 2 another point to be remembered here is that we have to take care only the input claims which can be claimed by us as per the law if there is any expenses which are not allowed by the law to be claimed it should not be entered in box number 8 moving on to box number 9 import subject to VAT either paid at customs or deferred so this box is intended to enter the transactions which are pertaining to the imports of goods into the Bahrain as you know when you are importing goods into Bahrain you will be paying import VAT at the customs so this box is made available to enter those transactions and claim the input VAT if you are a registered company tax registered company in Bahrain you will not be paying VAT at the customs instead you will have the eligibility to defer the payment in that scenario also you are supposed to enter those transactions in box number 9 and in this adjustment or apportionment column any portion of import subject to VAT used to make exempt sales should be reported here moving on to box number 10 import subject to VAT accounted for through reverse charge mechanism this box is intended to report the transactions of import of services so in box number 9 you will be reporting the import of goods since the goods are coming through the customs gate it is already reported here in box number 10 you will be reporting the import of services 
in the first column that is in the amount we have to put the total amount of imported services during the period then the adjustment column we should take care of any import portion of imports used to make exempt supply also and the third column that is a VAT amount will be updated automatically box number 11 purchases subject to domestic reverse charge mechanism if you are a company who is approved by the NPR for applying the domestic service charge mechanism mechanism then all your purchases coming under that mechanism will be reported in box number 11 total amount of goods and services purchased during the current period that were standard rated and purchased under a grant by the NPR on domestic reverse charge mechanism so this box will be applicable to only those people they have the right to buy a domestic reverse charge mechanism as approved by the tax authority moving on to box number 12 purchases from non registered suppliers or zero rated purchases or exempted purchases so here this box is making you to enter the transactions which are related to the non registered suppliers or you have bought something which are zero rated or you have an uh, a purchase which is exempted from tax all this kind of all those kind of transactions should be reported in box number 12 box number 13 again as box number 7 this is an auto filled box where it will be consolidating all the figures from box number 8 to 12 and will be giving the total figure here box number 14 total VAT due for the current period in this box it will be applying the formula that is box number 7 minus box number 13 that is the taxable output minus taxable input box number 15 corrections from previous period between BD 5000 up to BD 5000 if corrections to the previous return due to a mistake originating from the taxpayer not triggered by a sale or purchase adjustment entail a VAT liability correction up to Baran Dinar 5000 Specify the VAT correction and not sales or purchase amount in this field. For any other VAT corrections, the taxpayer has to submit a self amendment form. As per the law, the taxpayer has the right or the uh, eligibility to make any correction which is coming ha having the impact of less than 5000 BD in box number 15, and you can enter the amount of tax here manually not the sales or the purchase amount it should be the taxable amount on tax amount only box number 16 where credit carried forward from previous periods if you have an excess paid amount in the previous period or you have an excess input credit which is carried forward to the next period it will be appearing here it could be a negative or positive figure what whatever it could be the total amount of credit in your VAT account from previous return that has not been used to offset any outstanding liabilities or not been refunded so this amount will be used to offset the VAT liability if any for this return box number 17 net VAT due or reclaimed this amount box is out of field it will consider the tax liability of the current period minus the tax credit which is carried forward to the the current period then the balance amount to be paid or claimed will be appearing in this box number 17 now let us understand how Zoho books can help you in generating the VAT return As you know, tracking all the transactions or 
or to be entered in the boxes which are given under the tax return form that is entering the values in all the boxes which are to be entered manually is a Herculean task by using Zoho books you can generate the VAT return in one minute so this is the screenshot of Zoho books VAT return report VAT on sales box number one two three four five six seven exactly like the approved VAT return format by the tax authority then box number eight to thirteen that is regarding the purchases exactly as approved by the tax authority then it will give you the total VAT due for the current period then corrections from the previous period VAT credit carried forward from previous periods net VAT due or reclaimed as you understand filing a tax return is easy when you have a very good software to manage your transaction to track your transactions and to give you the report if you would like to know more about Zoho books you can register and meet us on April 28, 9.45 a.m. at Crown Plaza Hotel, Manama, Bahrain. You can register yourself for the Zoho Books VAT Summit 2019 by logging into the path which, which is given here. Thank you for tuning in. You can reach Zoho Book support at support.me at zohobooks.com. You can reach me at rias at alchemistme.com. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for listening to me. Now you can ask any questions or anything. You can type in your respective boxes and you can ask the doubts up, up to you. Thank you so much.